All right, so just in case you ever need to calculate the alpha value for EDTA at a pH that's not explicitly shown in the table, could conceivably be something that shows up on your homework. The fractional composition equation that describes alpha y4 minus follows the same types of rules as the fractional condition, the fractional composition equations for monoprotic acids that we introduced back in our systematic treatment of equilibrium. So remember the baseline definition for alpha y4 minus is it is the concentration of the EDTA in the y4 minus form divided by the total formal concentration of EDTA, where the formal concentration of EDTA is the sum of all the EDTA solution, ED, the sum of the concentrations of all the EDTA solutions together. So Y4 minus divided by concentration of H6Y2 plus plus H5Y plus plus H4Y plus HY3 minus H3Y minus plus H2Y2 plus HY3 minus plus Y4 minus, that's your alpha value. For, for diprotic, triprotic, and even hexaprotic acids, there's a way of reducing this to a simple equation that only involves the pH of solution and the Ka value for each deprotonation, just like we did for the monoprotic acids in systematic treatment of equilibrium. And for a hexaprotic acid, that expression for the alpha value looks like this. I'm not going to go through the derivation here because it would take a while, but it follows the same type of logic as the derivation for the monoprotic acids alpha value, and you can find a discussion of it in chapter 12, so I'd encourage you to take some special notice of that with your reading. The standard equation for the alpha y4 minus species, the standard equation for the alpha y4 minus value of EDTA is equal to the product of all six deprotonation constants, so Ka1 times Ka2 times Ka3 times Ka4 times Ka5 times Ka6, that's your numerator. In the denominator, you have a series which takes the form proton concentration to the sixth plus proton concentrations to the fifth times K1 plus proton concentration to the fourth times K1 times K2 plus proton concentration of the third times K1 times K2 times K3, and it continues all the way out, summing up again and again, until you end with the term that you have in your numerator, where there is no proton concentration, and it's K1 times K2 times K3 times K4 times K5 times K6. That's an intimidating-looking equation, but once again, notice for these fractional composition equations, the only thing you need to calculate the alpha Y4 minus value for EDTA at an arbitrary pH are the six Ka values for each EDTA deprotonation and the pH of solution, and you can calculate the alpha value of Y4 minus at any pH. In the examples today, we'll focus on taking our alpha values at pHs that are in the table, but if you need to calculate an alpha value for a pH that's not in the table, this is the equation that you use. It's a pain to do by hand for sure. If you need to calculate that, if it shows up on the homework, or on a quiz or something, I would recommend you set up an Excel spreadsheet to input this equation in, and it'll save you a lot of grief if you do it right. If you want some tips on that, feel free to post on the discussion forum or hit me up during office hours, and I'll be happy to post a short, short tutorial to show you how to set that up in Excel.